Hi, I'm Mark King, Investment Editor at Columbia Threadneedle Investments, and here's what's in my weekly column. First up, it's been a big week for global economies this week with the Bank of Japan and the Federal Reserve in the US announcing whether they would cut or raise interest rates. Interest rates are very low across the world, and this has had a corresponding effect on bond yields. Bonds tend to be favoured by investors who prefer lower risk investments. But with yields so low, many have been forced to flock to higher risk assets such as equities. For that reason, any hint of an interest rate rise has stock market investors worried. Yet economic growth and inflation is unlikely to come about quickly in a world where rates are so low. This trade-off is at the heart of why everyone was looking to the Bank of Japan and the Fed announcements this week. So what happened? Well, the short answer is that interest rates stayed where they were, but there were extra nuggets of information that could be crucial in determining the future direction of world economies. Read the column for more on what they were. Elsewhere this week, I look at research showing UK annuity rates are on track to record their biggest ever annual fall this year. An annuity is a type of insurance contract that takes a lump sum, usually a defined contribution pension pot, and converts it into an income for life. But as annuity rates are mainly determined by the yield on government bonds, which as we know are at rock bottom, people are getting far less for their money than they used to. In simple terms, someone aged 65 who buys an annuity with a £10,000 pension pot would now get 14.8% less in income than if they purchased one at the end of 2015. Since the so-called pension freedoms were introduced in April 2015, no one has to buy an annuity with their pension pot. Instead, everyone is free to choose how they wish to generate an income for life once they stop working. Investing for income is one approach favoured by many people, but it is a complex area, so if you're in any doubt, contact a financial advisor. See you next week.